Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Just open the Microsoft Visual Basic. Today we'll check how to design student marks analyzing system. Standard EXE, click on open button. Form one is opened. Let us design the form. Add the label. This is a toolbox. This is label. Add the real label. How to rename the label from the standard toolbar. Select properties window. Here in caption option, rename the label as Student Marks Analyzing System. Student Marks Analyzing System. Want to apply the background color for the label? Just go to back color. Apply any color, whichever you like. If you want to make the text as bold, go to the font option here. Select bold. If you want to increase the size, select the size, whichever you want. Then click on OK button. If you want to apply the background color for the form, just select the form. And here back color. Okay, add one label, then add one text box, add one more label, add one more text box here, then button. Add two buttons, button one, button two. Rename this label as in properties window, go to the caption option, rename this label as what? Username. Then rename this label as password. Just select the label, press the shift button and select this label. Both the labels are selected. Simultaneously, you can apply the background color for both the labels. If you want to make the text as bold, go to font option, select bold. Then click on OK. If you want to make the text tag center, select alignment, then select center. So the text is placed at the center. Then select the text box. Go to the properties of the text box. Text is text one. Remove this text one. Then select the second text box. Then text is text to remove this. Rename the buttons. Rename this button as login. Name the button to as cancel. Cancel or reset anything, whichever you like can rename accordingly. The next double click on 
the login button here we can write the code okay if text one text one dot text equals to if text one dot text equals to student okay and text two dot text equal to password and text two dot text equals to anything you can give here password then form two dot show dot show if text one is student and text two is password then form two will be shown else else it will display a message box incorrect username or password message box here m should be capital and b should be capital okay and the double quotes incorrect username or password incorrect username or password then end if end if end sub then next go to the design view double click on cancel button here you just write end okay save the changes save it as okay form 1 student form 1 click on save button student marks analysis system save then next run the project click on this start this is student name here student password is password then click on this login button here it is showing the error why because we did not add the form to first we'll add the form to add form if it is successfully login then it will redirect to form 2 one second we'll run the project start run student password is password this login if you are successfully login it will redirect us to form 2 once again we'll run the project we'll use some um, random username and password incorrect username or password how to hide, hide the password just go to the design view here yeah, select the text box to in the properties window here password care is just specify the password care as asterisk symbol then save the changes you can save from here or you can press control s 
the next run the project again what is the username here student password is password now the password is hidden okay then click on login button if it is successfully login then it will redirect us to form 2 i hope you understood the concept friends thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe have a great day